Hi everybody and welcome to Painting 2. It's Mrs. Lozcano here. Um, our first project is going to be a painting called The Colors of Summer. So let's go over the requirements first. Um, I'm going to leave this pretty open. I just want this to be a fun first project to get back into the swing of things. Uh, but the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and decide on and name um, a customized individual paint color that will be your inspiration for the painting. Um, the second part is to experiment with a variety of sizes and shapes of paintbrushes. So you guys have your own personal paintbrushes and your supply boxes that I encourage you to play around with. Um, those around you might have different paintbrushes than you, so feel free to share, but just um, keep track of them all and make sure someone's taking care of them. Um, we also have paintbrushes on those black carousels in the middle of the table. You guys can play around with those as well. And the last piece is going to be just a reminder to please try and custom mix as many paint colors as you possibly can. In my example for you guys, this is the color that I chose as my inspiration. I'm going to call it Huntington Beach Sunset Orange. Um, and the reason why is because I've decided to do a painting for my brother, who is a true California surfer dude. Um, and so I'm going to do a painting of the Huntington Beach Pier for him. Um, you can see that orange is the main color there in the clouds in the sky, as well as the reflection on top of the water on the sand on the edge of the shoreline there. Um, and so this is going to be the piece that I'm going to work off of. All right, let's get started. So I'm just going to run through the first part of this really quickly. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole tutorial since everyone's are going to be so different for this project. Um, but just remember to do your ground layer first. Make sure to cover all the white spaces on the canvas. Paint your sky, paint your ground, and then go in with the details and shading from there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get started, but of course let me know if you need anything at all. Um, and also don't forget to turn in this painting in that back corner um, and also complete the online rubric once you guys are finished. Alright, thanks for your attention and have fun with this first project.